Dr. Ian, and today I want to talk to you about GI motility issues. What that means is you're not having a good bowel movement at least one to two times a day. Some individuals go every other day or every three days or once a week, and that is not healthy because you're not excreting out all the toxins and pollutions that gets um, developed in our bodies. So we need to move things and get it out of our body on a regular basis. But the problem is, is that you may have a nervous system problem, specifically the enteric nervous system, which is dedicated to motility of your GI tract. Now, if we do a little deeper dive into the enteric nervous system, it's primarily the migrating motor complex, which is a, a complex of, of a group of nerves that creates the peristalsis to help excrete out all the garbage. And if this is compromised in any way, it's gonna cause the constipation. It's gonna cause GERD, IBS, IBD, gastroparesis, and other types of conditions. So what can you do to enhance and feed into this nervous system to optimize things? Well, there are some simple solutions that, that you can take by taking certain types of supplements and formulate natural formulations, and also certain foods that will enhance these um, the motility uh, and, and correct the motility issues that you may be having. Adaptogens are specific herbs that will enhance motility, like rhodiola or ashwagandha. Ginger helps with digestion. Tryptophan is a an amino acid that's a precursor to serotonin, and serotonin directly affects the migrating motor complex. Magnesium is a very popular um, nutrient that where you can take it at night and it helps to loosen up and, and support the migrating motor, motor complex and, it ha and, and typically enhances bowel movements first thing in the morning. You need to be taking vitamin C and D. And as far as foods, make sure you're eating plenty of fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, there's plenty of probiotic drinks out there. Just make sure it's sugar-free or no added sugar, but there's plenty of options now for fermented foods or drinks. Make sure that you're eating plenty of fruits and vegetables through the day. Make sure you're eating plenty of fiber, psyllium seed husk, pectin, flax, uh, cod liver oil, all helps to enhance this, this nervous system. The other things that you need to do is to manage your lifestyle because we're all stressed out during this pandemic and you wanna make sure that you're offsetting the stressors of life. Make sure you're, you're doing your breathing exercises, meditations, making sure that you're, you're enhancing your spiritual self along with your mental self. And just make sure that things are in balance, especially sleep, because if you're not getting enough sleep, it's going to hamper the nervous system in a negative way. If you're having anxiety, that's not a good thing, because that's going to definitely hamper the nervous system. So you need to offset with, with healthy um, uh, lifestyle practices, along with all of these different nutrients and foods. And when you do all those things, it should enhance the motility um, of, of, of your GI tract. Now, if this is not working, then you're gonna have to get with a functional doctor to figure out what other issues there may be. It could be a thyroid issue, issue where you're not producing enough thyroid hormone. This absolutely helps with the uh, digestive health and, and gut health. You may have an infection and other types of uh, imbalances in your system that you have to um, look into. If you like this information, please click on the like button and follow me on this channel so that you can continue to get these great health tips on a regular basis. We'll talk to you soon.